We talk a lot on this show about the devastation bovine respiratory disease can cause, which is why early recognition is critical so you can begin a treatment program as soon as possible. Brad Bulla has more on a detection system from Merck that can help producers recognize the symptoms of BRD earlier to help protect the health of their herd. In Ford, Kansas, Danny Herman manages a feed yard that sources cattle from many places. The feed yard is basically a family, family owned operation. We've been here since 1973. My father started it and, and uh, it's still in the family. Um, they've, uh, we're basically here to feed cattle. We feed cattle from, from Holsteins to conventional cattle. We also have a Hereford program and the in the CAB program. We also feed cattle from um, all over, all parts of the country. Uh, we get them out, of, quite a few out of Mexico. We also get a lot of cattle out of the east. We've gotten cattle from as far as Washington State to Florida. Ford County Feed Yard is a 52,000 head feed yard in southwest Kansas, uh, specifically the Dodge City area. Family owned by the Herman family. It's in the heart of the beef industry. Like other producers, Ford County Feeders knows firsthand that BRD is responsible for mortality, morbidity, loss of gain, and decreased performance. They also know how hard the disease is to detect. Cattle as a species are very adept at concealing clinical signs of BRD. And so frequent evaluation, frequent observation is necessary in order to uh, find those animals who get to the point of disease where they are willing to uh, display uh, clinical signs of disease. So frequent observation is necessary to identify those individuals, bring them to a processing facility, confirm the diagnosis, and uh, treat as early as possible. The way we monitor our herd is daily pen riding. Um, every pen's gone through. Our high-risk cattle are, are gone through twice a day. That gives them, the guys a, a second chance to see anything they might have missed. Traditionally, the signs of BRD are, are very uh, nondescript. And when I say nondescript, we tend to associate them with BRD, but in actuality, they, they can be associated with other disease syndromes as well. But generally, what we're looking for are signs such as depression, which is probably the one that's going to cause that animal to uh, look different than the rest of its pen mates. Uh, but in many cases, you'll see nasal discharge, in some cases, ocular discharge. You may hear a cough. Uh, you may see a lack of room and fill on the left side of that animal, so that animal will look thin. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, generally depression is going to be uh, the, number one, um, the number one clinical sign that's going to cause that animal to stand out to that pen rider. The symptoms that the guys look for, you know, number one is appearance of the animal, uh, whether he's full or not. The next thing would be uh, breathing rate, if they're breathing hard and heavy. They'll isolate themselves also when they're sick, uh, which is an indication that they probably ought to take a trip to the hospital. Producers and veterinarians agree that early and accurate detection of BRD is critical in getting a jump on the disease. Not only does early treatment result in faster response from the animal, it also means a better bottom line for the operation. The benefit of treating BRD early is, is the bottom line, which is efficiency, which translates to dollars. BRD, if left untreated, uh, can span anywhere from a reduction in uh, feed performance all the way through mortality. Uh, what we know based on economic models is that that animal that has subclinical BRD uh, is left untreated and makes it all the way to slaughter. That animal, on average, is losing roughly $40 per head uh, based compared to that animal that does not have lung pathology based upon current market prices from the last 10 years roughly. The scary thing is is that roughly half of those animals with uh, evidence of lung pathology have no history of BRD treatment in the feed yard. And so that goes back to the fact that these animals are very good at concealing the fact that they're sick and why new diagnostics are necessary in order to find those animals. Whisper from Merck Animal Health is a unique tool that is giving producers a new way of diagnosing BRD and helping reduce their use of costly treatments. Whisper, just like a traditional stethoscope that your physician would place on your chest and back at your annual physical, 
is an automated form of that device where it is capturing the sounds uh, that is generated in that animal's chest. Mm -hmm. And so there's a number of sounds that that animal generates uh, from its chest that is, that is a combination of air sounds coming from the lungs. And so Whisper is capturing those sounds, converting it into a digital file, uh, processing those sounds through a computer software, and then generating a score that the user then sees that reflects the severity of BRD that that animal is suffering. Whisper has helped our feed yard uh, in basically treatment cost. Uh, some of the cattle that come into the, the chute, if they don't score a high enough lung score with the temperature in consideration, we'll use a, a least cost treatment program. And to me, you know, if you can get an animal well, with the least amount of money, that's where we strive. So the scoring system of Whisper use in the hospital ranges from a Whisper score of one up to a Whisper score of five. Whisper score of one meaning that that animal um, is relatively normal or has minimal BRD impacts at that point in time, all the way up to a five, meaning that that animal's uh, lung tissue is severely compromised. And so depending upon where that animal is within that range reflects the severity of BRD in that animal. Veterinarians can use Whisper to augment what they're already doing uh, today. And so right now we are using, we're generally using rectal thermometers to confirm that BRD diagnosis at the chute. We know that uh, the, the uh, observation of depression and a rectal temperature are not specific for BRD. There are other things other syndromes that can cause the same clinical signs that BRD causes. And so utilizing or adding on an additional tool such as Whisper in this case gives us a clear picture of the health of that animal and allows us and directs us to be smarter uh, about our therapy thereafter. I think the using the new technology like Whisper is important to the industry. It gives them another tool to use to efficiently take care of the animals. BRD is a tricky disease, but these producers are finding that the Whisper technology is providing them with one more tool to help better manage the health of their cattle. I'm Brad Buller reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. You can learn more about the Whisper stethoscope at whispercattle.com and to learn more about the many BRD treatment products Merck has to offer, just visit their website that's Merck Animal Health USA.com.